Ryan Hamlet with NewMediaWorkshop.tv. Integrating your website with social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn can provide a variety of benefits that can help you reach your goals in terms of website traffic, blog subscribers, and even customers. Now, each platform requires that a website owner install specific code to activate their unique tools before everything can function correctly. For Facebook, you will be required in many instances to insert your admin ID, page ID, or app ID number before you can begin using their social plugin tools. But how do you get this information? Well, it's easy, and I'll show you a quick trip for how you can get these important ID numbers using just Facebook. The first thing we're going to need to do is open up a new browser window and go to facebook.com. Now, once we've gotten to Facebook, we need to go ahead and log into our Facebook account. Now, the first ID number we're going to try to acquire is actually for our personal profile. This would be the same as our admin ID number. Now, depending on what type of URL you have associated with your personal profile, there's one of two ways you can go about getting this information. If you have one of the fancy URLs, which would be facebook.com forward slash whatever your username is, and this could either be your name or something that you set up in the beginning, and this is allowed after you have at least, uh, I believe it's 25 friends, you can create your own personal URL address for your personal profile. If you do not have that yet, you should see something that includes your name, a forward slash, and then a large grouping of numbers. What that grouping of numbers is actually your admin ID. So if you see that, you need to copy those numbers and paste it into, say, a notepad program or on the Macintosh, your text edit program so that you can save that for use when you need to use that number. Now you're going to see that when I'm looking for a page ID here shortly so I can show you what that looks like. But for my personal URL, I'm actually seeing that I've got a pretty URL, facebook.com forward slash Brian P. Hamlet. So if I need my admin ID, all I need to do is change the www to graph. Now this is using Facebook's open graph protocol that actually feeds back to me a set of information. And the very first item that I get is this ID number. Well, this ID number is actually my admin ID. So anywhere you see with a, the Facebook social plug, plugins that ask for your admin ID, that's the number you can get right here just by changing this from www to graph.facebook.com forward slash your pretty URL. Now, if you try this with something that did not have just a simple URL, you may actually get an error, but you would see that it'd still give you an ID number at the end of a, another bit of code. That's a little bit more confusing to look at. Uh, so instead of doing that, I'm going to show you in a page that does not have a pretty URL what that would look like. So let's say, for instance, I need to get the page ID for our new Media Workshop Facebook page, which we've created not too long ago. So what you'll actually see up here in the top in the URL is a much longer URL address to get to our Facebook page. You have to have a minimum of 25 fans of your Facebook page before you can get a pretty URL. Well, we have just launched this page, so we have yet to hit the 25 mark which provides a great opportunity for us to show us the other way to get your ID codes. Because if you look in this URL address, I got facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash new media workshop. And then this last forward slash gives me a large grouping of numbers. What well, those numbers are actually the page ID for our new media workshop fan page. So if I needed my page ID, for New Media Workshop, I could just copy and paste that number to be the representation of my page ID. Now I'm actually gonna put right here just so I uh, can remember which one this is, newmediaworkshop.tv. And then I'm gonna show you for another page that we own called Becoming a Business Owner because when I select this particular page, you'll notice that it does have a pretty URL because we've got many more fans of this particular page. So there's no easy way looking on this page that I can find my page ID number to use in the Facebook social plugins. 
So to get the page ID for becoming a business owner, I will again change the www to graph.facebook.com forward slash our pretty URL becoming a business owner. When I hit enter, the very first thing I'm presented with is the page ID number for becoming a business owner. So again, I can copy and paste this ID number for our becoming a business owner page. Now, not everyone has created a Facebook application. However, if you have and you need the app ID number for the app that you want to connect to the Facebook social plugins, let me show you how you get that code. Now, this is a little bit more complex, but we need to go to developers dot Facebook dot com forward slash apps. And as long as I'm still logged into Facebook, it's going to bring up all the apps that I have created in the Facebook platform. Now, the app I may be looking for in this example is our new media workshop TV integrator, which we've purposefully created to connect our new media workshop TV website to the Facebook platform. And once I have clicked on that app so that it loads up the detail page, the very first thing I'm presented with is the app ID code or the app API key, depending on what tool you're using is asking for. In this case, it is both the app ID number and it is the API key that you may need to use for your Facebook social plugins. So I can create a placeholder in my document for app ID, copy and paste that code, and now I have the Facebook ID numbers for my admin ID, my page ID, and my app IDs for any Facebook tools that I need these numbers for. Now it'd be very important to save this information somewhere that you can locate so that as you continue to use Facebook tools and new tools come out, for instance, the Facebook social plugins has grown from four different tools to around eight different tools. So new ones could be coming out down the road that you want to use on your website and likely you are going to need these numbers for those to operate. So that's how easy it is to get these important ID numbers for your Facebook profile, for your Facebook page, and for your Facebook apps. Now, if you had any trouble following this tutorial, or you have any questions about how to get your Facebook ID numbers, just drop us a comment below. And this has been another tutorial by newmediaworkshop.tv. Music